Hello, and welcome to the City of Burbank's annual Mayor's Tree Lighting Ceremony. I'm Mayor Sharon Springer, and I'm overjoyed that you're able to join us today. Normally, this event is held in front of City Hall, but with COVID-19, we've had to adapt our event by offering it virtually. Families will now be able to enjoy a program full of holiday cheer from the warmth and comfort of our homes. The Burbank Cultural Arts Commission and the Parks and Recreation Department have created a lineup of some amazing local Burbank talent for our viewing pleasure. So feel free to sing and dance along as we make our way to the main event of lighting our beautiful tree. Now I'd like to turn the celebration over to our MC for the show, Mr. Eric Connor, Vice Chair of the Burbank Cultural Arts Commission. Take it away, Eric. Thank you so much, Mayor Springer. In years past, the Mayor's Tree Lighting Ceremony was not only a celebration of the holiday season, but also of Burbank's creative and artistic community. I wish we all could be together right now down at City Hall holding up our kids to get a glance of Mickey or Minnie or maybe even Santa and Mrs. Claus coming to town. But of course, 2020 is different. This, however, has been a tradition for Burbank for years, one we were not about to let pass us by. But how do we do it safely? How do we keep the holiday spirit going even though we're supposed to be apart? So we asked for guidance from a number of local scholars along with some burning holiday questions. On Hanukkah this year, I just feel like it's going to be really different because of COVID. It's the virus, and um, you don't feel like people to come over, like your family. And this will be the first Hanukkah and Christmas that we have not celebrated with our family. Well, uh, I'm not going to be going out as much and getting stuff. We're stuck inside. <laughs> and Corona. We're probably all going to be wearing a mask. We're not gonna have people come over or a family. We have to wear masks. Because we don't get to do like a lot of events that we used to do like around the holidays. Because we won't be able to see everyone and we'll only be able to have small gatherings and I'm pretty sure none, just our family will be celebrating Christmas in this house. Like, cause you're not with that much family and like, like there's, yeah. Be able to have a party and um, celebrate with other people, like my friends. Since everyone has a social distance. What do you think about that? Not very happy. Because we can't see family unless it's online. And what do you think about that? Uh, it's annoying. <laughs> um, we can't do it in person with our friends. So what are we going to do instead? Do Zoom meetings. Yeah, that's going to be boring. I hate to say it, but they're right. Zoom is kind of a lame replacement for actually being around each other. But there is still something we can do, which is we can show you guys a good time, even if we're apart. So tonight, grab some nog, put your feet up, and enjoy the next half hour of songs and dances recorded over the past few years. So don't worry. No social distancing was harmed in the making of this video, especially not by Burbank Chorale, who after 100 years of remarkable chorale music can harmonize beautifully, even when they're miles apart.
Yes, I will give Santa sugar cookies and I'll give him hand sanitizer and I'll give the reindeer's mask and that's it. I'm not sure what cookies. My mom now told me so I don't know. Maybe just chocolate and milk and sugar cookies. Gingerbread. Gingerbread cookies and we leave carrots out for the reindeer. And carrots too, please. Well, kids, it is important to think about what cookie does Santa want and how you're going to get it to him safely. Before that, we had Acceleration Dance, whose goal for instilling a love of dance is always on full display. You probably could tell that performance was BC, before coronavirus, an epidemic that has affected every corner of this globe, including the North Pole, which has made one local elf's job a little more difficult this year than before. Well, I'll let him tell you about it. His name is Elliot. My name's Elliot, and I am an elf. And no, not all elves are supposed to be tiny. I'm sure the workshop elves are diminutive with their felt figures and minuscule hands. Genius engineers at Santa's Toy Workshop never planned for an elf being over three feet tall. I tried to get a job in the workshop, uh, it didn't work out great. So I was hired as the official Burbank Street Elf, not to be confused with Gary the Glendale Elf. In fact, if you see him, he owes me five candy canes and a whole lot of nog. Anywho, my job is to make sure the city's ready for my good friend Santa Claus to visit. And as always, Burbank does not disappoint. Normally I'll do this only under the cover of night, but well, 2020's been different. Safety first. At least that's what they said when I was let go from the toy factory. And I'm keeping my distance, wearing my mask, which also helps me from personally trying every candy cane I see. So I'll be hard at work getting this entire town ready for Santa's arrival at the big tree lighting. In the meantime, here's something to get you bouncing in your seats. Rockstar Dance Fitness. Right, but how's he gonna still do his job and be safe? By wearing a mask and putting sanitizer on his hands and washing his hands. 
maybe from his sleigh the same way he did it last year? Probably like wear a mask or something. He goes to his chimney. And she would stay six feet away from everything. He would sanitize everything. And he would um, always like leave his the um, presents earlier. That's what I think. So then he can detox from any chance of COVID. He delivers presents in his sleigh by going on our roofs and going through the chimney and then giving us presents. He would probably deliver in the mail. To the chimney. Well, first, it's illegal to enter people's house. And second, um, I don't think he will. But I think parents will have to do it. We leave a key outside. Because I have a chimney, and he's going to go inside, and then he's going to eat the cookies and the milk, and he's going to deliver the present. He'll be safe probably... By if he wears a mask and probably all of his reindeers do too. Um, needs so, to be quiet. Maybe he um wears a mask and and he can also separate all the presents and put sanitizer. I actually put maybe some sanitizers in. He will come down the chimney when we are all sleeping with a mask on and shove the presents under the tree. No, maybe like Santa can't get COVID. Well, I hope my nephew's right on that one. Before that, we hit a pinch of rock, a hint of ballet. That is how we are doing it today. That was from the Pacific Dance Ballet Theater, formerly Media City Ballet's production of The Nutcracker. It's an organization that wants you to remember, we'll get through this. We will dance again. I know Elliot the Elf is trying to keep that in mind while he's getting Burbank ready for the tree lighting. How about we check in with him? I have to admit, there's definitely something different about this year. And there's a lot of stuff I miss. But thankfully, even in 2020, there is still so much in Burbank that makes me ecstatic. Despite everything with this year, the Parks and Rec team, the city of Burbank, have kept the holiday spirit alive. I try not to get in the way, but you know, this is my 300th holiday season, so I got a lot of wisdom to share. Hopefully Santa will be here to see it himself. In the meantime, we have got the wonderful dancers of Folklorico Mexico Azteca.
Don't want a car? Yeah. I don't want a soccer of coal. A trash can. Socks, if you give me socks. I, I do not so. want um, any kind of, um, like, or any kind of shoes. Orange socks. Chocolate. <laughs> Creepy things. Boy socks. Socks and underwear. Boy stuff. I don't want um like food that I don't like, like mustard, for like example. pickles. Oh, what presents don't I want? Hmm. Uh, to get coronavirus. That's the present I don't want. Coming at you live from, okay, I'm not live, I'm recorded. Regardless, that was the New York Film Academy's Glee Club, straight to you from the Burbank campus and last year's holiday show. And also those incredible mask-wearing steppers were from Cleary Dance, voted Burbank's most beloved dance studio, offering Irish dance classes for all ages, levels, and even elves. I'm making a special delivery up here at the North Pole to keep Santa going during this really busy holiday season. And Santa has a special delivery for us too. Even though he and Mrs. Claus can't make it down to the 818, they have a message for all of you. 
Mr. C, you're on. Mr. C, hello? Uh, hi. Oh, welcome to all my friends in the city of Burbank from the North Pole Workshops. Santa and Mrs. C, man, and the elves, are taking a quick cocoa and cookie break from all the hustle and bustle going on in the workshops. Many of the toys have been completed, but there are still many, many more to finish. So nice children everywhere will find a gift during the holiday season. You know, I've been asked many times why we use so many colored lights during the holidays. Well, the answer is quite simple. Here at the North Pole, it's very cold outside and it's also very dark due to the polar night, which happens from about late November to late January. There is very little sunlight during this time, so we turn on the electricity. Since we need to have the lights on, the elves insist they be many different colors. And in reality, the colored lights help keep us all happy and focused on the task of making all the toys and preparing for the big day. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Santa and Mrs. Claus will not be able to attend the annual Burbank tree lighting ceremony in person as we have in years past. This is because, yes, you already know, the worldwide pandemic, but we will miss seeing each and every one of you. But Santa wants you to know that all the holidays are still happening all over the world and wants to encourage you to celebrate this year with your families while staying safe and healthy. Santa will still be zipping in and out with presents while wearing his protective mask and a special suit Mrs. Claus made that will allow Santa to stay safe from the pandemic. Well, there's the whistle, cocoa break is over. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, the special mailbox that Santa and I received last year from the city of Burbank, it's ready to receive your holiday wishes this year. So don't take too long to send Santa your list. Oh, and remember, Santa is a toy maker. So those special things like electronics or pets, be sure to talk to your families about those things. Thanks for stopping by and have a very Merry Christmas and hope we're all safe, happy, and healthy in the new year. Bye for now. Thank you to Santa and Mrs. Claus. Well, despite everything 2020 has thrown at us, the holidays are still upon us. And what better way to greet them than with a little illumination? I want to thank the City Council, Parks and Recreation team, and everyone in the city of Burbank who made this still possible. Please welcome Mayor Sharon Springer and the City Council of Burbank. Thank you, Eric, for that introduction. I'm so very delighted to be here this evening. The holiday season in Burbank is such a very special celebration. And what better way to commemorate than with the tradition of lighting our beautiful Christmas tree. On behalf of the City of Burbank and the entire Burbank City Council, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us this evening. Although we would prefer to be together, we can't. We must continue to stay safe and practice social distancing. So I would like to introduce my colleagues. We have Vice Mayor Bob Frutos, Council Member Jess Talamantes, Council Member Emily Gable-Letty, and Council Member Tim Murphy. This evening has been very exciting. The Burbank Cultural Arts Commission, in partnership with the Parks and Recreation Department, have done a fabulous job of highlighting our local talent through tonight's show. A special thank you to the Burbank Chorale, Cleary Irish Dance, Acceleration Dance Studio, Folklorico Mexico Azteca, John Burroughs High School, New York Film Academy, Glee Club, Pacific Theater Ballet, 
and Rockstar Fitness for lending your joyful voices and merry dance moves to our most wonderful celebration. And what a wonderful surprise to have Santa and Mrs. Claus send us a special holiday message all the way from the North Pole. We are thrilled to hear your special mailbox is ready to receive all the letters from the children of Burbank. And now I need everyone's help to light the city of Burbank's holiday tree. Looks like the big switch is ready. Council members, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's count down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay, great. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. On behalf of the city of Burbank and the entire city council, we want to wish everyone a happy holiday season. Please stay safe and we look forward to an amazing 2021. Thank you very much for joining us. That was the award-winning John Burroughs High School Choir, under the direction of Brendan Jennings. Well, hopefully the past half hour reminded all of you that holiday spirit is alive and well. We want to thank all the performers and groups for sharing their material and their work, and all the kids for sharing their very deep thoughts. Next year, how about we do this live? Until then, keep singing, keep dancing, keep creating, keep celebrating. And remember that even though we're apart, you're not alone. Happy holidays.
Happy holidays and be safe. <gasps>